just do a video and tell me what your favorite homesteader or gardening moment is. What are you the most elated and proudest? When I say it right off the bat, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thank you for stopping by today. Um, I cannot stop smiling. Oh my goodness. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Hopefully, you'll give us a thumbs up. And if you like what you see here today, make sure and subscribe to our channel. Uh, make sure and hit that all bell notification so you get notified of all the videos that we drop when we drop them. So, on to today. <sighs> I just can't stop smiling. <laughs> I always tell you that placement in your yard is key. Researching your plants is key to know what they like, what they don't like, what, you know, where to put them. Okay, so this is, <laughs> this is why I don't want you to go through three years of feeling like a failure like I have. Now, I have planted daisies, and I love those. I've planted sunflowers. I love them. They're both, you know, pretty forgiving plants. You can almost just about put a sunflower anywhere, and it's going to grow. Um, but this particular plant, I bought bulbs, um, uh, again, three years ago, and absolutely love, love these. I love the scent and hand lotion. I love it in soap. I I love the look of the flower. It's bold. It's big. It's it's in your face and beautiful. But I just couldn't for the last three years couldn't get a bulb or a, a bud to come on the plants. So after two years of beating myself up and carrying these things back under, you know, putting them under something to overwinter them, taking them back out because they keep regrowing. I get a nice, beautiful plant, but no buds and no flowers. And that's when I'm feeling like I'm a failure and I feel like the plant's a failure. Oh, I got some, you know, some jacked up bulbs from the store. Well, it wasn't the bulb's fault, and it wasn't the uh, sun or the atmosphere. It was my fault. I did not do enough research. So this year, I moved them. And boy, was that a great thing to do. I moved them after I read a few things about them. And, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so, I know I always say that. <laughs> I cannot stop smiling. The flower yesterday, well, two weeks ago, I saw a bud and I was like, oh yeah, it's on this year. I'm going to have flowers this year. I'm so excited. So I got one bud so far. And that bud grew up and up and up and up. And oh my gosh, I was. I was getting more and more excited, and I was. Th I thought, I can't move it, you know, but I don't want any wildlife, any deer or rabbits or anything like that to come through the yard and take a munch on it. <sighs> but it's it was meant to be for me to have this very first peony. Yes, they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And, of course... I got it in pink, of course. Why would, what other color would I get it in, right? I love it. So, I'm going to show you a picture of the bud. The flower this morning, or the, the bud this morning, um, it had started breaking open. I was so excited, but by this afternoon, and then doing a little more research, it had opened a little bit more and it was what they call the marshmallow stage. So it was not quite all the way open. Uh, it was like you could take it and, and squish it like a marshmallow. But when it was like a couple weeks ago, or a week ago, it was like a little hard 
you know, like an almond or something in there because everything was real tight in there. And then everything started releasing and oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I brought it in, I cut it and I brought it in and she is stunning. She is absolutely gorgeous. Look at all the petals that are gonna come from there. She smells delightful and I know Dale is probably cringing right now because <laughs> he hates the smell of flowers. I'm going to share with you a few things that I have learned about peonies over my three years of the struggle bus when I thought I was doing it right and I wasn't. So upon further research, uh, well this year when I saw them popping through I uh, really buckled down and did some basic research. Um, and <clears throat> one of the things that I learned was, well, I needed to move them. I always say a placement is key. So I moved them to an environment well, the, where they would not get the harsh afternoon sun, but they would get some variants of sun some morning and some afternoon but not that noon scalding can kill your plant type of uh, sun so I put it over by the pergola that Joey built for me and it has worked out very well so the bud came up I was so excited oh my gosh I couldn't stop smiling when I saw the little teeny bud coming up that was fantastic so another thing that I learned um, is that you want to have peonies on the ground. Do not put them on your patio, inside your house in a pot. Um, do not put them up on a deck because the ants need to get to the peony. Now, I know you're probably freaking out. Why do I have my ants and my flowers? Well, they actually are very beneficial and they do not harm your peony. They do, I mean, as you can see, they have not harmed this flower at all. Um, but what the ant does is when they're really, re when the bulb is, I mean, the bud is really small and very tight like an almond, um, the ants will go and they'll like pick at it and dig at it and they do it very delicately ev evidently <laughs> and they will help the peony to open and to bloom. Otherwise, it's not going to. So you have to have it on the ground it needs ants and then the ants just go away they don't tear you can see they don't tear the leaves up they don't tear the flower up no, they just go and to the top they like the smell of it as much as I do they just go and open it up and then that's it so that's one thing or two things there are three stages if you want to Clip your peony once you see the bud and you see the ants and you see it starting to open and getting bigger. You want to, uh, there's three different stages. You, you need to look for these. The first one is the almond when it's really, or marble, at marble stage when it's really, really tiny and it feels like a little marble or a rock. Um, so that's the marble stage. The next stage is the marshmallow stage. Now that is when the plant, the the ball, the blah, 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 the bud is starting to open, and you can kind of see the inside, and you can go like this, and you can squish it, and it feels like a marshmallow. That's the marshmallow stage. That's when you want to cut it. Cut it. Make sure you cut it on the diagonal. Take it in. Put it in a vase. Keep it in a cooler environment with. All fresh cut flowers if you want them to last long you need to put them in a cool environment um, and make sure that you go down at least two sets of leaves before you cut I actually went one two three and there was one here I cut that one off to get it in the vase I went now I was gonna make sure I got this and everything went okay with it 
This is why I can't stop smiling. I am so, so happy. I just, I can't even articulate how elated I am to finally have one of these. You know, we all have those moments um, as a gardener or a homesteader that you are so absolutely proud of. You're like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did it. Uh, and this is one of those days. It, it's just, it's crazy. I absolutely, again, I love peonies. I love peonies and this one is just beautiful. I, I just want to keep showing it to you. <laughs> She's so pretty. And it smells so good. Hopefully, you learned a few things. I spread a little bit of knowledge. Do, do, do. You know, the more you know. <laughs> do you remember that? Okay. Showing my age. Um, anyways, hopefully you learned a, a few things uh, about peonies. Um, I would love to hear some of your proudest moments. Or just do a video. And tell me what your favorite homesteader or gardening moment is. What are you the most elated and proudest? When I say it right off the bat, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Share it with me. <laughs> Put it in the comments below so we can all delight in your success. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's it for me here at Not For Nothing Homestead. Take care of you and yours, especially your peonies if you have one. And God bless, and we'll see you in our next video.